I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Nah, them niggas not like us, we tied in Going back in the fall, shot rack in the wall, crack in the pool, dry skin Post it like Shaq in the fall, but I'm in the field like a tight end Yo, 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 you already know what it is, man Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right I'm clicking through the gauges, and while I'm looking at the battles I'm flipping through my pages so, DNA versus Vixen. Um, I'm not gonna lie, going into the battle, I had DNA winning, I just felt like DNA hadn't battled in a while, and Vixen, you know, she had some good performances, but I just felt like with what DNA is able to do, as far as with his battling, his freestyling, his overall MC ability, DNA thinks I hate him, I really don't, but whatever. Uh, I just felt like he'd be able to beat Vixen. I had, this was probably gonna be, to me, one of the clearer wins of the night, to me, before. The battle even started. So DNA comes out, um, and in his first, and, and Vixen, I must say, Vixen probably had one of the eye opening performances of the night. I definitely still think this is the battle of the night. I will say that much. Battle of the night, to me, pretty clearly, battle of the night. They both went to war. I will say this. Uh, to some, it may be a controversial decision in how people feel like who won. But uh, I had her clearly, I had her doing her motherfucking thing way better than I probably would have expected because like I said, I hadn't seen too, too many. I tried. What I did was I at least made sure that I watched a battle or two from everybody. I even went into some of the couture files. I did a lot of these joints to make sure that I had, you know, watched the battles and had a good understanding of the females before we came into this. But let's just get into the bars. That's what you're here for. I think it's here for the bars. You're not here to hear me ramble. DNA. I'm from Corona. I'm better off in Queens. Okay, I'm better off in Queens. Uh, he had a line about the coke so white he used to watch Dawson's Creek. A couple assassin, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, felt that uh, one shot will make assassin Ben Spider-Man. An assassin Ben Spider-Man. You know, Ben Spider-Man. Um... He had a, Vixen comes out, uh, how I get stuck with the junk mail, then she said, uh, I retired again after I pitched shins, after I pin shins, after I pin shins, oh, I retired again after I pin shins, like shooting them in the shins or whatever, uh, then she had a fire line, oh, she started picking it up, the energy, I was feeling how Vixen picked up the energy, I'm not gonna hold, ride on him, slide on him. I just wanted to see how make you seem how dumb you sound when you be like K-Shine and you sound like him. Like that shit was fire. Ride on him, slide on him. I just wanted to say that you know how too much you sound like DNA. You sound dumb when you try to sound like him. That shit was fucking fire. I had DNA edging the first round, but the way Vixen ended her first, crazy. DNA second, uh, DNA why you not punching? Cause she used to domestic, saying that she used to like domestic violence, things like that. Uh, DNA says, uh, giving you game, you wouldn't get far. Saying that, you know, the dude's writing and, like, the old game song wouldn't get far. Y'all gonna label me a jerk. The saga continues. Talking about, you know, a shot at the saga. Assassin assassinates a character. He's going in second round to me. Was cool. I love this first. The second was cool. He was starting to bark some in the second too. Like his flow started like really speeding up. And he was just like boom, 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 boom. Rapid fire bars. And I knew you would get that from DNA, being that we hadn't seen him in a while. Like if you if you if we ain't seen DNA in a little minute, you better know when he spins the block to battle again, you getting all smoke. And that's exactly what he brought in the second round. I definitely loved his second round. But Vixen comes out, uh, she says, um, you know, you try to holler at me, and then she said, I, I saved you in my phone, then the DNA, do not answer. <laughs> Like that Vixen, that was fire. But she, the thing is, Vixen had strategic lines that she wrote that were almost life rebuttals, but she strategically wrote. She wrote well, because uh, he had a Corinne Stephens line in his first round, a super headline, you know what I'm saying? Then, then, then um, Vixen says, I am Corinne Stephens. When the lead pop, I took deep, but all they remember was the headshot. She wrote that 
But the way it came out, it seemed like a rebuttal, like a mid-round joint. Uh, she says, every father's worst nightmare is their daughter looking up to a vixen, fire. Uh, I had to hustle to prep, this is a toxic relationship, fire. I tried to, I tried to talk through this round, oh, she had a fire line, tried to talk through this round, rookie mistake, took DNA shit, backfired on him, I had it 1-1 one, one going into the third. Third round, um, DNA behind, like, Dexter's lab, I like that, uh, got racist. In the camera, still shooting blacks, talking about all the dudes that went over to the King of the Dot tournament. He took a shot at Avocado. Then he starts, he starts going in another direction in his third round. He starts taking aim at uh, at Hollow the Don. Uh, you are KRS One of hip hop because you know the sound of the police. And then he said, um, I'm on stage giving you the conversation that your mother, that your father did. He starts, he started taking too many. To me, he started taking a lot of shots at Hollow the Don for the whole presidential shit, you know what I'm saying? Joe Button was in there was shooting at him too. Joe Button said he don't hate on DNA, he just hates the corny shit that he do and all this other stuff. So it was mad people shooting at them after. They was you know calling a little presidential ad, Malibu's most wanted, uh, Bill Gluckman's down with bitches and hoes. You know, like it was it's a lot of the culture that was taking shots. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I mean I I call it like I call it so I don't spoil it. But anyway, uh Vixen comes out her third round and she said uh 2020 People picking their own sex, DNA don't matter no more. And then she said, uh, you too busy trying to see the man in me instead of trying to see the bitch in you. Ooh, Vixen started to get in the third round. And then she said, the line to me, to me, Vixen's best bar of the third round. This woman said, I will slap the bitch out you and introduce her to a better man. What? That shit was crazy. And then she ended it like, get his, get him, get his hat the fuck out of here, get this, get that the fuck out of here. And if Norbs get that 40 million, I'm getting my cut, I'm getting smacked the fuck, like Vixen. You get the ovation, you get a, you get a, a, a fire. Congratulations. Um, I have Vixen winning the battle 2-1. If it's even debatable, the battle goes to the female. Battle should not be debated with. If we gotta say, oh, well, this person could have got the first and they could have got the third, or we could argue, I'm giving it to the females because the, the males, is, it's a, the, the, the fan vote gave it to Vixen by a lot too. It wasn't no close shit. It was like fucking three thousand to six thousand, and this thousand and that thousand. So, um, I think the second round was the closest. I still edged that to Vixen. Third round gave that to Vixen. First round I gave that to DNA. Uh, DNA was definitely, I like some of the pockets of material that he had in his first round and in his third round. He had some really, really solid pockets of material. And when I say, I'm just talking about he was just using so many fast bars and, and, and synonyms and metaphors and just breaking her down. And he could have won this battle too, I'm not going to lie. Um, we'll definitely, we'll see when the battle drops on the app if he gets it. But uh, in the building, per the... You know the little fucking uh, the, the 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 poll statistics. They had uh, they had Vixen win, and I and I understand why, cause Vixen did her thing. Like you can't, nobody could take away anything that she did tonight. She proved herself because a lot of people did not have a winning going into this battle. They thought that you know DNA was just too nice for her. But dog, the first round. I ain't gonna hold you. She picked up a lot towards the end of the first round. Second round, barked all through it. And third round, whew, whoa, third round, she put that fire out there. She she came with the, she came with that torch, the human torch at the end of that round. I said, bro, what the fuck? Clean, 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 clean. Good work, man. I mean, it was definitely good work for me. I, I, I love what she did. Um, I definitely do. Um, but fire battle, battle of the night, um, battle of the night for sure, for sure, battle of the night. These guys really put forth a lot of effort into their rounds, and I definitely respected the pens, like the penmanship to hear those kind of bars and these guys using these uh, extreme setups against each other. I just recap it. I could never do some of the things that I see these folks do. And, you know, there's certain people who can never do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just speak from an unbiased perspective as what I see in the battle, who I felt like won, and the reasons why and people just rock with it. And they watch the recaps and they give me, um, you know, they give us their feedback and things like that. 
But duh, Vixen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I want more of that. 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 I want more of that, girl. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. No, how did Norms get that? He had that? He had that? How the fuck Norms get that? I feel some type of way. I've been working out, girl. <clears throat> I'm real brolic. Lou Castro voice. How did Norms get that? I feel some type of way. Baby, baby, good work, baby. I like what you did. You got busy. I would love to see you in some more battles. You got kind of busy. And you had the Yonky Yonky. You had the Yonky Yonky out there. That thing was the thing. I had the Yonky Yonky. Yonky Yonky. You had the, you had the period challenge. That Yonky Yonky Yonky. Anyway, you already know what to do with what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was. Um, like I said, there'll be some people who feel like they and they won the battle. And I'm perfectly fine with that. But I personally loved what Vixen did. Um, surprised a lot of people. That's the main thing. Surprised a lot of folks. Um, that, and you got to keep that up. I hope that's not a flash in the pan. I hope we get that on a consistent basis. Because if you're going to do that right there, oh yeah, you can bring that back. Go on. We can go ahead and bring that. Debo, I know you're going to watch all these shits. I already know you do. You're going to watch it in your camo pajamas with your camo do-rag on. Put her on whatever card is coming up. Whoever, I don't know how y'all going to break down the breakdown when y'all break down what y'all break down. But make sure you swing Vixen back around on whatever card y'all niggas got going on. Because she is fire. You dig? And that thing, the thing, was the thing. I'm gone. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Love ho. Yo, no, them niggas not like us. We tied in. Going back in the fourth, shot rack in the wall, cracking the pool, dry skin. Post it like Shaq in the fourth, but I'm in the field like a tight end. Put your life.